local officials have expressed their disapproval for Governor Brian Kemp's decision to reopen all state parks and beaches. It follows his shelter in place order issued last week. He addressed that criticism today. Our Stephen Moody joins us now with reaction from leaders on Tybee. Stephen. Shannon, I spoke to Tybee Mayor Shirley Sessions just a couple of hours ago. She tells me that even with the governor's order that went into effect last Friday, people are still doing a good job of staying off of the beach. Wednesday, Governor Brian Kemp extended his shelter-in-place order until April 30th. In that order, all state parks and beaches were reopened. When that order went into effect last Friday, it upset leaders in Savannah and right here on Sabi Island. Kemp said he's monitoring the situation. If something gets out of control, I'll take action to shut down specific you know, parks, boat ramps, or whatever. But right now, we're not seeing that, and I want to urge all Georgians to continue to, to follow the rules and help us with that. Tybee Mayor Shirley Sessions says this is nothing new from the governor. She says his office reiterated that to her in recent conversations. She says at this point, people are staying home. I think that there are more people, certainly people on Tybee, who have made the commitment that they're not going to go to the beach during this time because they're trying to respect the city council's opinion uh, when we close the beach. And I'm very, very pleased. With residents taking the advice of council members, Mayor Sessions says she's gotten calls from people out of state asking if the beach is open. She says they don't know what to expect for the weekend. We are not really knowing what to expect for the weekend. It obviously depends on the weather and depends on whether or not people want to put themselves in jeopardy by coming and being around potentially at large crowds. Now, just a reminder, several members of the Tybee Police Department are currently quarantined, including one who tested positive for COVID-19. Reporting live tonight here in Chatham County, I'm Stephen Moody for WJCL 22 News. Stephen, thank you. Now, the governor's office did send members of the Georgia State Patrol to help, but there are still no lifeguards on the beach.